said we were gonna watch David clean his uh, Terradrome. Terradrome. Or at least give you the basic idea yeah. of what it is that I'm doing. Give you some ideas and some tips maybe. Yeah. And see how everything turns out. Because it's pretty simple. I mean, if you can even tell that I've been working on it. And it's just like with anything else, one of the main problems with a lot of this stuff is just neglect. Mm -hmm. It's like this because no one ever bothered to keep it up. They, didn't, they just didn't care. And a lot of times people don't want to be bothered. And that's why you go to shows and you buy them and they're like this. They're filthy. And, you know, we use, um, talked about this plenty of times, you makeup brush for basic dusting. Just go around and give this a once over first, which has already been done. But just for any residual that's resting on it. Yeah, big and loose dirt. These are um, very gentle. So you're not going to hurt anything, but everything that can be done with this has been done because the rest of that is pretty ground in. It's not going to come out with this, but that's a good place to start. That's dust that has been on here for a long time and as it was exposed to moisture, just kind of soaked in. And a good place to start is with baby wipes. Mm -hmm. and. Not too moist. This is a fresh pack, so these aren't too damp. As you get further down, they can get really, really juicy. And you don't want too much of that because you don't want to put moisture in here. But believe it or not, these will pick up a lot of that soiling from out of here. Now, and what about antibacterial wipes? Like you got just the antibacterial, the Lysol, the Clorox. Well, those have those a, lot kind more, of wipes. a lot more chemicals. Uh -huh. You know, this is hypoallergenic. There's no fragrances or anything in there because mm -hmm. you're not trying to mix any chemicals into this. Mm -hmm. Or I'm not trying to. And, you know, take it apart as much as possible. You see these seats, they come right out without too much of a hassle. These interior panels can lift out. There's no broken tabs or anything. These are actually in pretty decent shape. Mm -hmm. So take it as part as much take it apart as much as is reasonable. Because I know a lot of people they get nervous with this kind of stuff. And if it feels like it's not going to come apart without a problem. Don't see, force it. Yeah, don't force it. I know that's just a like a, a plug. So and another thing with that, because um, I know when you take everything apart and you set it aside, clean it, when it's time to put it back together, yeah. it can get confusing. It can. So if that's you, because I know I'm that way, <laughs> um, just take Slow it apart down. one piece at a time, wipe and clean that yeah. part, and then put it right back together. Yeah, you know what I mean? Piece back put, on, yeah, put that if piece you don't back want on. To. Now, this one I don't want to take off because these are notorious for breaking. But you can, you know, it's, it looks like it could, oh, there we go. It just lifts right out. Yeah, it lifts right out. I, I didn't want to, these are always with broken tabs or snapped, and I was trying to be careful with it. But, you know, lift all of that off, and then you can get in there, you get a fresh, clean baby wipe, and just start rubbing this out, and you see yeah. how it comes up. And some of that plastic discoloration, you know, going to be able to do too much with. What about a soft baby brush, toothbrush, baby toothbrush? Oh, uh, you might could. I mean, because this is kind of hard plastic right here. I would watch out around these stickers. Mm -hmm. Also, even though, because um, you see, it's, it's around the edges mm -hmm. of the stickers where it's getting nasty because, or it's mostly nasty. Mm -hmm. But the sticker itself, you see, I got all wiped off except around the edge. Yeah. And that's because of the original glue there. Mm -hmm. But um, you do be careful. Even a soft bristle brush, you could get into some of those nooks and crannies with. Because you see, there's all these simulated bolts and stuff that yeah. kind of stand out. And even though they had some fantastic play sets the play wear on them isn't that great and that goes for most 80s toys 
so you do have to be careful because it is fragile. Mm -hmm. This is a fragile piece. This, that's why so much of this is broken. But you see how easily that comes up. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's not going to be perfect, but it will be cleaner. And that will help it to look better. It'll help it to stand out and be brighter. And that's really primarily what I'm going for. If you come across something where, look at that. <laughs> it's just uh, neglected. It just has no love. Mm -hmm. You come across uh, an area where it's not coming up very well. Alcohol couldn't hurt, and just I just regular rubbing yeah, alcohol. Yeah, rubbing alcohol, and I use the uh, like face cleaning pads instead of cotton balls, you know, like this. Yeah. And these work really well for getting up, like especially if there's marker or something else on here this will really brighten it up and pull a lot of that out now I know Axe the uh, oh Axe body spray yeah, yeah it's good takes for, a lot of stuff off yeah it's good for pulling off the uh, marker from like paper or cardboard because mm -hmm. we we've done that with board games yeah. and you see how that brightens that up right yeah, there it, does. it looks almost brand new it makes a big difference and if you have spots that are tough to get into um, with the alcohol pads. That's why you use that toothbrush. Yeah, or a Q-tip. Mm -hmm. I have a Q-tip here. Also, I have Q-tips that I've been using also. Where did I put them here on the other side? Mm. And I can show you, for example, on these stairs because I've been cleaning around these stairs. But like I said, take it apart as much as you can, and. Just be careful with it. But if you watch the uh, the stairs there, it just soaks it up. Mm -hmm. But if you do use a toothbrush, it's got to be very soft bristles. Yeah, like the baby toothbrush. Yeah. See. Mm hmm all these little nooks and crannies that are tough to get into and it all comes off on there yeah but you don't want to wet it like spray it down with a hose no you don't want to put it in a hose or stick it in the bathtub or any of that and <laughs> no you don't i mean because it's plastic you know you spray it down on a gentle mist and then let it sit and dry outside no i don't know about all that yeah. i would i've i've I found that to not be very effective, <laughs> actually, when mm -hmm. I've, uh, you know, experimenting. Mm -hmm. I've had problems with that in the past. Mm -hmm. Or the water stays mm -hmm. in there, it hides in there somewhere, mm -hmm. and that can cause other problems. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it, it's, it's not as difficult as you might think. It's just time-consuming, yeah. which I guess is why nobody wants to be bothered. And so they don't do it. But I mean, if you're going to have a collection and, you know, do all that and have, you know, take walk down memory lane, yeah. you um, probably want to invest time. You invested money and space. So time and upkeep, it should be a should part, be of, part that. of that. You would think so. But uh, unfortunately, that's not often the case. Mm -hmm. And people just let stuff... Um, I'm going to go back over here and sit down. Oh, okay. You keep talking. People just, uh, like I said, neglect is often part of the problem. Neglect is a huge part of the problem. Mm -hmm. Even with home ownership, there's a, there's a joke with inspectors that the three biggest problems with homes on uh, home inspections is water, water, and water. Mm -hmm. And I disagree. It's neglect. It's neglect because if you were upkeeping the maintenance of the house in the first place you wouldn't have all those water problems and what you know when we've gone house hunting how many houses have we seen and it's just things are just falling apart why because something simple was left was ignored left yeah. alone or not repaired properly watch that uh, alcohol is on the edge yeah, and it's I, shaking I see it's not uh, it was neglected or it wasn't repaired properly somebody took a shortcut or whatever mm -hmm. and then years later it just turned into a huge problem 
that's often the case, and it's the same thing with this stuff. This is something that basically no one ever bothered to clean it, period. Yeah, and if you just do some light dusting, even monthly, and we've talked about that when we've gone around the museum and we wipe things down and, and um, show show you how we clean, just once a month, go around, you know, take the brush, brush things off, wipe it off. Um, data save you and you you some people are collecting for investment in the future the better shape the more money you can make yeah, the better it looks yeah the, the more it's all noticed. about that presentation and then you don't get to this point where someone like me has to sit there and <laughs> and uh spend a couple of hours picking the terror drone apart scrubbing it up yeah i wouldn't somebody like me wouldn't be sitting here doing this right now because it would have already been in top shape yeah but if it was in top shape you would have paid top dollar yeah and that's another point <laughs> is if it was a lot cleaner um i mean this is a person who they upgraded but there's really nothing wrong with it mm -hmm. so if you, except that it's dirty as far as i can tell there's a warp right there but it that could have been a factory error you know so did he upgrade to a cleaner one I don't know I'm not picking on the guy but what what's the upgrade mm -hmm. unless maybe his the new one came in a box I don't know yeah but really there's nothing wrong with this I haven't found any repairs or anything yet everything seems to be here I can't complain this is a really nice find Mm -hmm. and I just want to treat it right and part of that to me is just the regular maintenance and upkeep of the toy just like everything else and like you said preventive medicine just like when we go around in here and some of you have seen us do that before go around through here and just dust things off and wipe things up and make an effort to to make it presentable, keep it clean, keep it tidy, check on it. I mean, it's a good opportunity to see if anything's broken or anything's out of place. Missing. Yeah, anything's missing, you'll catch it. Especially, you know, a really good time to clean up is after anybody stayed at your house. Yeah. <laughs> make sure they didn't walk off with something. Yeah, that's how, uh, what was that, that, that one guy um, I can't think of his name. He owns that, like, he has the biggest Star Wars collection in the world. Oh, yeah. And he had uh, a piece of his turned up on auction that someone recognized. Well, a couple, this one guy was stealing from him. He had so much stuff. He couldn't He tell. didn't even recognize that things were missing. Yeah. And he had super rare pieces that were missing. And he, the guy got caught because the pieces were so rare. Yeah, it raised uh, yeah. red flags with yeah. the collecting community. Like, hey, wait hey, a minute. Hey, where you get that from? Yeah, and that was, um, I think the one that caught him up was the... The Boba miss Fett. Missile firing Boba Fett prototype, yeah. Yeah. And people were like, well, how many of them actually are there out there? Mm -hmm. Where did this come from? Hey, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. And the bulb finally came on for somebody. Now, bits like this... Um, where there's nothing, there's no stickers or anything on there. Mm -hmm. I could take this and stick it, submerge it in water, and then just let it dry, and I wouldn't be too nervous about it. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't want to submerge this whole thing. Right. I wouldn't do that. But little simple things like this that can come out. These uh, these the, seats. Yeah, these seats come out really easily. Panels like that lift right off. Yeah, you can put that in the water and brush it down with a toothbrush. Yeah, and I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be heartbroken about it, but yeah, I would not submerge this whole thing. Right. But like I said, it's it's really not that complicated. It's just time consuming. This is something. This is a project that's going to take a while to to really do in detail. And again, you know, when I get it finished, uh, maybe I'll do a showcase of it. You know, do a tour of the. Terradrome itself when I get my uh, my bag of vintage Cobras out and start putting them in 
So I hope that uh, I hope that was helpful. Maybe this gave some people some ideas. You know, maybe they have some pieces like this or whatever. It, it, you you can figure it out. It's not that hard. Just take your time and be patient with it, and you. May